Speaking of red carpet, Shay, uh, Terry Bussey was back on campus. The big time five star plus athlete out of Timpson High. Um, one of the best high school players in the country the last two seasons, just in terms of production, in terms of everything he put on tape. Um, he was back on campus. LSU is pretty much battling a and I know Georgia hosted him last weekend, but I get the sense from talking with Terry last night after the visit that it is LSU a and He's got good relationships with, you know, the, the staff at LSU with Frank Wilson and Sherman Wilson. He's building them more with Corey Raymond and Blake Baker. He's got good relationships with Georgia with Travaris Robinson, who's now over there. Um, and a and he's got some familiarity with the staff. This is going to come down to if he goes to AM and he feels comfortable with that new staff from Mike Elko, if he still feels the same comfort level over there, I, I think the Aggies probably win out. But if he goes there and he just doesn't like the vibe, this this could go LSU's way. And it would be um, a guy that could play right away in the secondary for Corey Raymond. We've talked about Bussy for a long time. Let's just get down to the nitty gritty here. What are we feeling? Because I think you can set the stage, Billy, in a couple of ways here. But LSU did flip four A and M commitments this cycle. They flipped Cohen Eccles on the O line. They flipped Weston Davis on the O line. Then two Louisiana guys, Dominic McKinley at DT, and then Gabriel Elford at D end. What is? I think we've all all and you can. I'll let you speak for yourself. I've always thought. Bussy fit into a different category because even over the summer months before with the injury, he didn't make a bunch of visits, but everyone was like, oh, he's going to end up at AM. There were graphics ready, all that kind of stuff. He said, well, let me at least make some visits. And he went to BAM and LSU. Then he commits to AM. AM has all the coaching changes. He doesn't sign. You get it. But he never decommitted from AM. And the buzz coming out of College Station is that Mike Elko and that staff feel good about keeping him. Still, he made other visits. He went to Georgia because Traveris Robinson recruited him at Bama, ended up at Georgia. So he eliminates Bama, goes to Georgia, and there's no buzz coming out of Athens that it's going to be them. He gives LSU a midweek visit today, but then this weekend, he's going to be, in, be on an official visit to AM. He gets to have two official visits to AM because Jimbo got fired when he made his first one. Now he gets one with the new staff. And being from where he's from, Timson, there's people around him that are kind of have some AM influence. It's I just when I look step back and really look at it, I just keep going back to we always thought he was going to end up at AM. If he's spending the final weekend before signing day there, they'd have to really fumble the bag here. And I don't even mean money-wise, like fumble the ball, whatever, not to get this one across the finish line. 